Botic accent. Uh, uh, and they were laughing at the person. My sister, my brother, what do you mean by having an ebotic accent? Hello, beautiful people. Welcome once again to my channel. And to the new ones, thank you so much for stopping by. And please don't forget to click on the subscribe button. It is free. And also click on the notification bell so that whenever I put up a video, it will notify you that a new video is up. Yes. And to my returning subscribers, thank you so much for your support. I see you guys. Thank you. And I love you guys. Thank you so much for supporting me. I'm still your girl, Chiwe Glory, from Lagos, Nigeria. So in today's video, I'll be talking about parents not teaching their kids our native languages. Yes, of late, our native languages are going down. Yes, more especially the Igbo language. Hardly will you see a Yoruba man, a Yoruba parent, an Awosa person not speaking their native languages to their kids. But when it comes to the Igbo people, our Igbo language, we don't, we don't really communicate to our, our kids through this, our native language. Yes, we don't. We don't teach our kids our native language, especially the Igbo people. Yes, me inclusive. Yes, I'm telling you, we are failing there. We can't allow our language, we can't allow our Igbo language to go down the drain. We cannot. Yes, it's important that we start. It is not late. It is important that we start teaching our kids right now how to speak our languages. Yes, as for me, I have started. And I want you to also start to teach your kids your native language if you have not. It is never late. And it is not too late to start now. Yes. The other time I traveled to the East, I noticed that a lot of parents, instead of teaching um, in the East, where the normal language is Igbo language, yes, that is what we are supposed to be communicating with in the East. But the last time I traveled, I noticed that parents in the East too, don't even communicate to their kids in Igbo language, rather they speak English to them. So it's, 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 it's something to be worried about. Yes, even the kids in the East, they find it hard to speak Igbo now. They do find it hard. All of them are not speaking English. What are we doing to ourselves? It is wrong. It is wrong. The other day in the news, a popular person, one popular person, came and tweeted that, thank God that the kids are learning French, German, Spanish, and that he, there's no regret for him that the kids can't speak Igbo. This person I'm talking about is an Igbo man. But he has no regret that the kids don't know how to speak Igbo. But he's very proud that the kids can speak some foreign languages. I know that it's good to speak foreign languages and to learn the foreign languages. But it is equally important that we teach our kids, our roots, where we are coming from, the, their languages. This said man said he, can, um, he cannot speak Igbo himself. And there's no regret because Igbo language has not taken him to any place. Even if it has not taken you to any place. It's still very important that we teach our kids our roots our languages where we are coming from so that those languages that our language will not die off because i myself i started teaching my speaking Igbo in my house yes i don't speak english anymore in the house i speak Igbo to my kids and i thank god that they started understanding so the challenge i have now is for them to speak it themselves they have started with the little the simple ones like bia Jebe, all those simple ones, Biariri, my kids have started saying it, and I know with time, as they have started hearing, and with time they will start speaking it as well. And I encourage every parent out there, it's important for us to do this. Okay, in, uh, last time on Twitter, I, I, I saw a tweet from a German woman, she's married, she's married to an Igbo man, and this woman can actually write in Igbo. Yes, she's not Igbo, she's German, but married in Igbo. But the zeal in her to, you know, to understand the language and, you know, and communicate with it and write with it is out of this world. She has started writing with it, she speaks it, and her kids, she has started teaching her kids. Yes, Igbo language, which is very okay. And this one, this particular lady, she's, she always brings her kids home. Yes, 
She's not a Nigerian. She's not an Igbo woman, but she has passion because this is where she's from. This is her root, and she's proud of it. Yes. Not to talk of us who are Igbos. Yes. Who our roots are like rooted in Igbo land. But yes, we don't speak these languages to our kids. Yes, it is. It is something to be worried about. Let's try and do our best. If this German woman can take out time to teach her kids Igbo, to even learn it as a person, as a German woman, then what of us? Let's try and teach our kids these things. The other time again, I, 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 I met a man. He stays abroad. He stays in America with his family. And when he came back with his kids, the, the kids we are speaking deep Igbo languages, you know, those deep ones. And I was wondering, and when it comes to English, these kids are very good. They speak good English. They do. But when it comes to Igbo language, if they tell you that these kids, we are brought up and if they get back to them abroad in America, you will not believe it. But we that are in Nigeria, Nigeria, we don't, we don't teach our kids our native language. It is very bad. No matter how, how high we think we are flying, no matter how far you fly, one day you want to come home. Home is home. One day you will love to come home. And when you come home with your kids, if they don't know how to speak the native language, it will be so difficult to communicate with the other people, with their relations and every other person that will come around them. So let us endeavor, wherever you are in Nigeria, in the whole world, please don't ever let your native language go of teaching your kids this, this native language. It is very important. I am sounding this because it, you, you, it, is, it, it is popular in Igbo land. Yes, we Igbos, we don't like teaching our kids how to speak Igbo. Eh? We like to teach them English, eh? which is not good. Teach them English, of course. But don't forget our Igbo language. Don't forget it. This is where we all come from. It's important that we, we teach our kids these things. Let them know how to communicate in our language. Yes. The other day, people online, people were saying somebody had a robotic accent. Uh, uh, and they were laughing at the person. My sister, my brother, what do you mean by having an robotic accent? Eh? Chinese people will come out, speak their English with their accents. We, we Nigerians will clap for them, clap, clap, clap for them. But when an Igbo person comes out and speaks their English correctly, but with an Igbo accent, people will be laughing. But if it's other tribes, other um, countries that come out speaking English with accents, people will be clapping for them. It's not good. The most important thing is that we are communicating well and you're understanding it. Eh? It has nothing to do with accents. Yes, I can't let my accent die. Yes, Igbo accent on English is very, is very, is very good to hear. It's very, it sounds good in the ear for me, and I know for you too is the same. <laughs> oh my God, no, no, but this is forget that I'm laughing. This is a very serious note. This is a very serious case. Yes, please, mothers, let's try and you know teach, communicate with our kids in our native languages it is very important and don't say that it's late now no 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 it is not late you can start now yes you can start now and it's it's it, 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 it's, it's good for the future please it's important okay the other time one of my friends was telling me she was brought she's an evil person but brought up in lagos and the elder sister can't even speak beer in Igbo, but they are Igbos and she's married do you know what? She married another tribe anyway. She married a Yoruba person. Yeah. So when she gave birth, the mother went there. So they were in a gathering, talking and talking. I don't know what happened. The mother was trying to, you know, tell her something, to do something. But because she, 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 she can't, um, because she does not understand Igbo at all, yes. And if the mother speaks in English, the people will understand what the mother is trying to say and if the mother speaks in um, in in yoruba too the people will still understand what they are saying so the mother was like stranded and she regretted dear dear why she never never ever taught that girl her native language let's not be like her it is important that we teach our kids our native language very important yes as important as english language is 
it is very important that we also communicate to our kids in our native language yes so that they will understand their roots where they come from and every other thing outside outside teaching them our Igbo language it is important to that once in a while we take them home so that they know where they are coming from yes it is very important and i applaud people that do that yes i do yes and i'm so proud of parents that gave birth to their kids abroad yes abroad they went to school abroad yet they eat Igbo as if it's is 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 like english to them it is very important guys please let's do better as i'm talking this i'm equally encouraging myself yes that i've started speaking Igbo to my kids and they have started understanding yes and speaking the little little ones i still want to encourage you out there it is not late let's do the net needful and teach our kids our native language please let's not allow our Igbo language to just die off yes Let's not just do this, guys, please. Wherever you are, wherever you are, you can actually do this, yes. Speaking Igbo to them is very important. Speaking other language, I like, for the Yorubas, for the outsiders, it's rare that you see a Yoruba man or a Yoruba man or, or an Aosa man that their kids don't know how to speak their language. Like, I've never met such before. But I still encourage you, no matter the tribe you are, it's important that we teach our kids our native languages. Yes, it's important. Okay, guys, thank you for always stopping by and supporting me. I am grateful. I love you guys. Thank you so much. Yes, and please encourage your family and friends to equally subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much. And see you guys in my next video. Bye.